You claim righteousness, but you know your guilt and cannot deny your punishment is due. You stood for justice. How is this just? Righteousness, but you know your guilt and cannot deny your punishment is due. I thought you stood for justice. How is this just? The courts are not a place for your murderous whimsy. You are a corrupt heathen. The families of those innocent souls you executed through false accusation of witchcraft will exact their righteous justice tonight. False accusation? What is that nonsense you draw? My mark will burn like a brand in the flesh of this town. If it takes me to the ends of eternity, I will personally make the bell toll for every witch in Salem. Why? The guy who killed me is... Abigail. She might be the bell killer. How is that possible? I gotta get out of here and figure out how to track her down.
up his phone either. Nope. He hasn't checked in. We'll notify you when he shows. Copy that. Oh shit, if Rex is missing, it could be going down right now. Where'd you take Joy, you asshole? meaning her death, where she was killed. The gallows at the museum. Hang on, kid. I'm on my way.
Salem wasn't the most exciting place for a couple of rambunctious 13-year-olds. And playing with my friends after school, they usually required a healthy dose of imagination to spice up the underwhelmingly bleak landscape. To us, Salem's history was just a bunch of creepy stories and tourist attractions. I mean, witches didn't exist. We, we all knew that. That's why Robbie Barnes was the laughingstock of the entire school. I mean, he, he actually believed that they were real. Looking back, I, I wish I hadn't teased him so much. Maybe then he'd still be alive. I've, I forget which one of my friends actually came up with a plan to prank Robbie, but it didn't take him long to get us all on board. My job was to find an example of an old spell. I mean, it took me all of 15 minutes. And the library had practically every book ever written on the subject. The next step um, involved the, the judgment house. It sat up on the hill, abandoned. Everyone said it was haunted. What made it even creepier were the rumors that Judge Hawthorne burned the remains of accused witches in the house's various fireplaces. And that's, that's where Robbie comes in. We dared him to sneak into the judgment house in the middle of the night and collect a handful of ashes from each of the fireplaces. Then he'd have to light some candles, sprinkle the ashes, and read the spell. We told him that if done correctly, the spell would supposedly blow out all the candles. If he agreed to do all this and the candles so much as, as flickered, we would promise to stop making fun of him. We could, we could see that he was scared, but to his credit, he agreed to go through with it. What we didn't tell him was that we had set up a hidden camera to catch all the hilarity on tape. The next day, Robbie didn't come into school. We, we assumed he had chickened out and was too embarrassed to face the music. Then I heard that Robbie went missing. I felt the chill run down my spine as I retrieved the tape from our hidden camera. I pressed play and fast forward until I saw Robbie. He was doing just as we instructed him to. But then a shadowy figure crossed in front of the camera. Robbie turned in horror just as the camera cut to static. When the image finally returned, Robbie was gone. And the only sign that anything had happened at all was the now smoldering fireplace over in the corner. deserves to be murdered. And when the psycho trying to kill someone pretends there's some grand justice behind it, that just makes it all the more twisted.
Joy! Ronan, help! Not another step. No, not you, Rex. This has nothing to do with her, Abigail. Oh, but it does. For 300 years, we have executed the witches who corrupt our fair city. Down there. Let's go. Those who try to mask their demonic contract and leverage powers they should never possess. Just like you have. Don't you dare compare me to her! <laughs> easy, easy. Put your hands up! Help! Don't do anything stupid. Hands up! Stop what you're doing. Hands up! Do it now! Abigail, stop! Rex, you piece of shit. What are you doing? Not now. This was you. Didn't want you getting closer to the truth. Ronan, do something! Hold tight, kid. I'm on my way. It's over, Abigail. Joy! Ronan, help! Not another step. No, not you, Rex. This has nothing to do with her, Abigail. Oh, but it does. For 300 years, we have executed the witches who corrupt our fair city. Down there. Let's go. Those who try to mask their demonic contract and leverage powers they should never possess. Just like you have. Don't you dare compare me to her! <laughs> easy, easy. Put your hands up! Help! Don't do anything stupid. Hands up! Stop what you're doing. Hands up! Do it now! <laughs> Abigail, stop! <laughs> What are you doing? Not now. This was you. Didn't want you getting closer to the truth. Ronan, do something! Hold tight, kid. I'm on my way. It's over, Abigail.
Choi! It's over, Abigail. <laughs> the time is upon us, Abigail Williams. You scourge of Salem, it is time to pay for your sins! This can't be happening. You want to use memories against me? Two can play at that game. I know the truth about your death. But I still don't know the truth about mine. Did you use Rex to kill me? Rex was my most influential. The most respected, the most feared official in town. Of course I did. How could Rex have done it? Rose's killer had blue eyes. I didn't use the same killer for every murder. Baxter. Why 
Why did you kill Baxter? I eventually kill all the killers I use. <laughs> Especially the ones who get close to the truth. I wasn't close to the truth in the apartment. I wasn't one of your killers. Why did I have to die? No, 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 I, I wouldn't. How could I? You made me kill her. I'm going out. You're coming with me. Sometimes obvious, sometimes not. If we're lucky, we keep our dark side hidden. By law, Rex was a killer. But the law doesn't always see the truth. Fortunately, Joy did. And she would never press charges. <laughs> she might even help Rex cover his tracks. One thing's for certain. She's a better person than I was at that age. A kid who deserves forgiveness. She's paid her dues. And committing a few small crimes searching for your mom? Well, even the coldest cops would forgive those. Mom! Hasn't been a bell killer murder since the night Abigail met her final end. But the case never officially closed. But memories fade, time heals. With luck, Salem will move on and find peace. Death repays debts, my father always said. Forever I believe that. But truth be told, this life ain't over until you're honest about what you owe. Set everything right. Settle your debts. Only then can you move on. Ronan? 